Hi hey guys, welcome back. We uh, had managed to get a day on the Holderness coast yesterday. Uh, didn't find anything spectacular. One or two bits of ammonites mainly that actually broke uh, when the, we hit the nodules. And uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, show you what I actually found and glue a few of them back together. Um, this didn't actually break. I don't know if we can see this. This this is a fat ammonite, possibly Catecholoceros crassium or something similar. Um, it badly worn as you can see, rolled on the beach. But what I'm going to do is take the top off, have a look at the centre and see if it's possible to do anything with it. This was actually found by a friend. It's quite a, quite a nice smooth little nodule when he opened it or cracked it, hit it. A really nice, what appears to be elegant tisserus, some beautiful crystal chambers, and it's split as you can see straight through the middle. What we're going to do today, or what I'm hoping to do today, is we're going to glue that back together, clamp her up. This is the first thing I found, which I probably normally wouldn't bother with a lot, but we're going to see if we can repair this and prep it out. It's a Pleurocerus middle layers. Partial loss here, which is here, so when we glue it back together, hopefully that, that may well prep out okay. The biggest ammonite we found was, in fact, this Elegantisserus. When this was split up, obviously the top of the nodule came off, as you can see here, a lot of the shell adhere to the negative part of the nodule and also one of the little bits that broke away. If you find anything like this it's always a good idea to keep the little bits then we can uh, basically glue it all back together and prep it from the top of the nodule. Hopefully the shell will remain in, remain in place uh, during the prep. So what I'm going to do is mix some glue up or some resin and we're going to try or attempt to stick these all back together. I think first we'll do the easy one. Pull that out of the way. Move me tea. And we'll get some glue out and bring the camera a little bit closer. Right, marble resin. Let's get the lid off. Oh. A bit smelly that stuff. Pity we don't have smelly vision on the camera. <laughs> right, I'm going to mix enough to do that and that I think. Then we'll do the elegantisserus separately. Always messy this. Right, that should be enough to start with. Move that out of the way a minute. Right, hardly, only need a small amount. I believe it's somewhere around about 3% on this, but uh, that is more than enough. Give that a mix. Should do. Do this one first. Give it a good coating all th all across. I'm 
should do. Right. <clears throat> Draw that together. Feel it. Push it your hands, feel it. There we go, that's bedding. And a small G cramp, just wood old wood working clamp says. Apply a bit of pressure and cramp her down. Not too much. There we go. You see the resin squirting out, that's more than enough. Put too much pressure on, you might actually crack the uh, negative part of the nodule. It's not very thick. Just remove that quickly. And that can go to one side to dry for a day. Just chuck that stick. Right, next one. The Rosserus. With this, I mainly want to just glue the repair because the rest of it's come out quite, quite well when it was fractured. The nodule was hit. I don't want to. Just put that bit down there. An alternative method, if you have the, I do actually have one, but uh, most people don't, so I haven't used it. Is to actually use a small stone saw to cut out the area that you want to attach back. Makes it a lot quicker when you're prepping. Uh, because you obviously you've not got all this to remove, but most people don't have one, so I'm not going to bother using it. We'll do it the hard way. Right. Twist. There we go. Bedding down. And put a clamp on there. It can be a bit tricky this sometimes, just getting the clamp in the right position. to one side. Looks like we've still got enough resin left to possibly clamp this as well. Better get the big clamp down. First of all, we've got this little bit to go back. A little bit of shell on there. Just check the position. That sits there. So we'll glue the shell up. I'm not going to apply glue to here because that'll be sticking the rock back on the on the actual face of the ammonite. We don't want to be bit of a devil to get off so there we go sure she's in and then we'll glue up this main area where the shell is attached to the negative hopefully transfer it back onto the actual ammonite Right, let's see which way that marries up. She marries about there, that's it. The, clamp, the clamp's big enough. Oh, just. Position. 
position right. Pressure on. There we go. You just see that squeezing out around the ammonite there. So that should be okay. Right, put that to one side. Oh, I'm up top. Yeah, we've got a bit of resin left. I wasn't expecting that. So it's amazing how little you really use. Uh, so I'm afraid that's going to be wasted. Never mind. Put this away. Don't think there's anything else I need to glue up at the minute. Right, well, I'll have to go in the bin. I hate wasting stuff. Not not very cheap this either. Move those out of the way and we'll have a look at the small fat bodied ammonite quickly. Some of these ammonites, when you find them on the beach in the break, um, they, they're looking in the right state, but it, it's quite remarkable, really, what you can actually get away with uh, restoring or repairing. Unless you, unless you actually see it done sometimes, you think, oh, you wouldn't do anything with that, but uh, surprising what a little bit of glue can do. Right, we'll move the camera. Nodules are all glued up as you saw. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have any time between now and just after Christmas to actually uh, film any of them being prepped. Possibly maybe the small nodule that we glued up first. I don't know. It depends on my course I'm on at the moment. The small nodule that I started penning has actually come out not too bad. I've completely removed the inner part of the ammonite from the the uh, nodule and we're left with this which appears to be a catecholoceros crassium or crassum I can't quite remember how you pronounce it a little bit of air abrasive work on the centers which are all there clean clean up generally and it's quite quite a nice little specimen not very big but quite quite a nice little specimen I think that that should uh, Probably go in one of my little drawers somewhere. I don't know what's happening. As I say, I may be able to get a little bit more video up before Christmas. I'm not certain. I'll probably find out tomorrow what's happening with my course and I'll, I'll have a better idea. So I'll have to see how it goes. So see you all soon.